Hey guys, so this is going to be my updated what's in my purse video because I've been getting a lot of requests to do this and I figured now would be a good time to film this video because I just got back from New York City so my purse is filled with God knows what. Um, when I travel it tends to get really full so I have no idea what's in here so I guess we'll just find out together. So as far as my bag goes, this is the handbag or purse I've been using and I got this over a year ago at Forever 21 and I still love it and I still use it. So let's venture on inside. The first thing laying on the top here is a Cliff Mojo Trail Mix bar and this is a peanut butter pretzel one. I've actually never tried these before. But I told my mom to pick up Cliff Bars at Trader Joe's and she got this. But I mean, I'm assuming it tastes pretty similar to the original Cliff Bars, which I love. And I always have to have some kind of food in my bag, and it's usually a Cliff Bar because I just get hungry all the time. So I need some kind of sustenance with me. And I have some earbuds that came with my Blackberry. A lint roller from Target. This is a little baby one. This comes in handy too. And then I have my passport, yay, because um, I just always use my passport when I'm traveling. I could use my um, California ID, but I just choose to use my passport for some reason. And then I have my Clinique Apple Pouch, my green one. My green one, green one always holds my feminine products, so <laughs> there we go. And yes, I just showed that on camera. So I don't like to have them floating around my purse, so I just keep them in this little pouch and it keeps them covered and nice and discreet. Then I have my keys with my really ratty Winnie the Pooh keychain. He is definitely looking a bit haggard. This poor little guy has been dragged around Europe and he's fallen in a few gutters along the way. So he's definitely looking a bit sad and tired now, but... I love them and I love Winnie the Pooh so I just can't let go of them and plus it makes it really easy to find my keys in my purse or if they're just laying around because I am very prone to losing keys. And then I have a Winnie the Pooh house key too because I'm obsessed with Winnie the Pooh but I had to let go of my obsession a little bit since I'm getting older and I don't really want to freak out too many people. Next I have my makeup bag which is from Forever 21 and this kind of doubles as my wallet because I normally have all of my cards and cash right here in this pocket but it all fell out so it's kind of just laying around in my purse. I don't have a wallet because I never keep anything in my wallet. It always ends up in the side pockets of my purse, so I just don't even bother. So inside of my makeup bag, I have my eyelash curler, a little thing of Benetint that Alexa gave me, a, um, I think this is called a pocket pal. So it's Benetint in one end and then lip gloss in the other end. And Alexa also gave me this because she gave me this first and then I told her how much I love Benetint and she was really sweet and gave me this. And then I have a NARS lip gloss in Ophelia, which I have on. I also have the Benetint on, so the lip gloss is over the Benetint. Then I have one of my favorite lip glosses of all time, Barry M's Toffee lip gloss, a MAC lip conditioner or tinted lip conditioner in Feeling Good, a NARS lip gloss in Strip Tease, a NARS lip gloss in Greek Holiday, and guess what? Another NARS lip gloss in Turkish Delight. And then I have a MAC lipstick in Hue, which is my all-time favorite MAC lipstick, and the Bath & Body Works Summer Vanilla Lemon Vanilla Lip Gloss, which is delicious. And that is pretty much it for my makeup bag. I also have some little baby bobby pins in the bottom, little tiny ones, and then some change. I don't know why that's in there, but it is. Okay, so next I have my Kate Spade sunglasses. And my mom is really, really nice and actually got these for me because she has been on my case to get sunglasses because I don't really like sunglasses, mostly because I can never find a pair that look somewhat decent on me and that don't hit my cheeks. 
but I found a pair and my mom was nice enough to get them for me. So they look like this. I don't know if they look good on me, but they don't hit my cheeks. So that's all I really care about and they protect my eyes from the sun. So she was always on my case for squinting and telling me that I'm going to get fine lines and that I need to protect my eyes. So there you go, mom. Now she's a happy camper and so am I. Alrighty, so next I have a CD from a band called What Looks Like Crazy. And two of the guys from this band, Rick and DJ, were actually on the video shoot with me for Jackson Harris's music video, Long Story Short. So while I was in New York, I got to hang out with them and laugh with them, and they're really, really great, funny guys, and I just had a blast. And so they gave me um, their CD, and I listened to it, and I really, really like it. So they will be linked down below if you guys are curious about them, but I love them. They're great guys, and they're hilarious. Next, I have my Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets because I have very oily skin, and these save my life. And they're also good for blotting your lips. If you don't want really shiny, glossy lips, it's great for that too. Then I have my boarding passes that are all crumpled up and folded, but I'm not gonna unfold them because it has personal information on there. All right, so next I have a camera. This is a Nikon Coolpix camera, and this isn't mine. This is actually my best friend's camera because I broke my camera ages ago, so she just lets me borrow hers whenever I need it, because she's really nice. And then I have my phone, my brand new phone, which I'm so excited about, because I suffered with the same phone for about two and a half years, and I was so excited to get a decent phone. So I got the BlackBerry for Verizon, and this is the BlackBerry Bold 9650, I believe. And you guys need to check out my background, my wallpaper. Look who it is! Look who my wallpaper is! Yes, it's Alex. And I had him as my background yesterday while I was eye chatting with him, but I changed it back. But then, since I knew I was going to be doing this video, I changed it back to him just so I could show this on camera and embarrass him a little. So, yeah. There's Alex. Isn't he just so cute? If you guys don't know him, um, he makes videos here on YouTube. He'll be linked down below. He's a weird kid, but he's really fun. Next, I have some soap. Whoops. And some change, apparently. Um, I took these from the hotel room because they were Neutrogena soap. So I was like, oh, I can use these. And then I used this one to wash my face in the Memphis bathroom because... When I fly on an airplane, my, t my skin tends to get really oily, so it feels good to just kind of refresh your face and wash your face. So then I have my red apple pouch, which is also from Clinique. I got these as free gifts, by the way, a while ago. But inside this one, I have my Revlon Kabuki brush and then my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I like to keep the... or these two things in this pouch because it makes it easy for me to find if I need to blot throughout the day so I can just grab this pouch I don't have to dig through my purse or anything and it's red so it's easy to see alright so in this side pocket of my purse I have all of my cards right here I gotta find a place to put them my desk is getting all full here and then I have some used oil blotting sheets Ooh, lovely I know <laughs> And I have some gum, which I actually keep in my purse for my friends and whoever needs it because I actually don't chew gum. So this isn't for me. This is for other people. And this is the Extra Fruit Sensation Sweet Watermelon. I think it tastes good. I think I've had one piece, actually. But I don't remember if it tastes good or not. I'm pretty sure it does, though. And then I have a Jouer um, Lip Conditioning Treatment, which looks like this. I know it's getting really washed out from the lighting, but I love this, and I keep forgetting to show this in my favorites videos, but my friend Mary actually gave this to me, and I love this. It is amazing, and it smells really good, too. It kind of has a floral scent to it, but I really like it, and she swears by this as well. All right, then I have some more used oil blotting sheets. I know, gross, but eh. Oh, well. And then I have a ton of of change. I'm not even going to bother to bring it all out, but there's a lot in here and 
a lot of bobby pins as well. And then I have some buttons from my coat. I believe these are the spare buttons just in case one falls off. So I don't know why that's in my purse, but it is. And then I have a Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Scent Body Mist. So it looks like that just in case I need a little spritz to freshen up. And then I just have more coins in the side pocket and a hair tie and oh, as you can see change is flying everywhere. And then I have my Rosebud Strawberry Lip Balm, which I love. This stuff smells so good. And it works really well, too. So it not only smells good, but it works really well. And then I have... Oh, I have a business card. And this is actually kind of funny. Um, this is the business card for the makeup artist that was on set for Jackson's music video. And I love him. He was so amazing and so funny and just... An all-around amazing guy and I just fell in love with him and I was kind of joking around with him saying that I would shamelessly promote him on my channel and um, now I'm actually gonna be doing that because I have his business card in my bag so this is his card I'm covering up his phone number just because I don't want him to get a bunch of random phone calls but um, his name is Philip Whitehurst and he is amazing he is such a sweetheart and his I'm not covering up his email because I figure that if you guys want to email him, if you guys are interested and you live in the New York City area and you need a makeup artist, definitely call him up because he is amazing. And that is about it, I would say. That's all that's in my purse aside from change and trash and whatnot, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was definitely a random hodgepodge of stuff. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!